Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art, and I just wanted to show you um, some ways that when you're building your eLearning conversations, how you can take uh, some of the focus off of the background and more onto the characters and what they're saying. Um, and if you look at uh, a, a typical background photograph that, that doesn't have characters in it, it's all going to be in focus, and then you have your characters in focus too, it can be kind of distracting. So um, I like to create uh, some visual contrast, and uh, I've done some other some other lessons around this as well. But just wanted to show you, you know, some of the difference. Now here we are, this image here. Let me just pull that up. Now, if the background's fully in focus, it's a little bit more distracting. If you add a little blur effect to the backgrounds, you know, and you know, this character is blurred out too, um, but the blurred out background really puts the focus on this character here. So that can be a really useful thing. And blur is just one one thing that you could do. Let's just run through a couple others. Now here I uh, did a like a line art effect, and then. Uh, um, and colorized it as well, and this is a, a cutout effect, and uh, this is a line art where we colorize just the lines, and you know there's a, like a, a pencil effect. So I just want to walk through quickly kind of what you can do and show you how that kind of changes the feel um, uh, of the the conversation scene that you're building. So um, if you haven't already looked at it, uh, you should look at check out the lesson if you're not familiar with working with slide masters uh, for these conversation templates. But go to view slide master and you'll see I'm really controlling these um, these master slides um, or the backgrounds at the master slide level so let's just walk through really quickly um, what's going on here so this photo if I right click it and go format picture uh, and then artistic effects let's just reset it oh let me get rid of the picture color too reset alright so there was the original picture um, some of the things that I like to do um, now let's walk through first kind of a subtle effect. So you can go to artistic effects and if you select blur, you know, now you can crank up and down the radius and that actually looks pretty good. You can still kind of get a feeling for the background but it's not going to interfere with your characters when they're up front. Um, one of the other things I like to do is create line art. Um, so if you go to photocopy, um, the defaults I don't really like too much. It has too much color in it and what I do is I just take that transparency to zero um, and I usually either do one or two on here. That looks okay, but I like it a little more subtle. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then from there, if I wanted to, I could also colorize it. So now if I go to picture color, recolor, you can either go with that, you know, with the background color with the line art around it, which creates a lot of contrast, or you could just do like, you know, the lines are colored. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let me get rid of the, the color there and go back to the artistic effects. Um, one of the other uh, effects that I like to do um, is uh, you can do like this this pencil effect. So let's see the pencil sketch. Um, yeah, and that's kind of funky. It's maybe a little bit too much for me there. So let's you know take the pencil size down a little bit and see what that does. Um, it's just it's it adds some visual interest um, and it, and it's kind of cool and creates a little more contrast since it's black and white compared to um, the color the color characters. Um, let me reset that. And uh, let's also look at, if you wanted to go uh, to black or white, you could go to picture corrections, uh, is that where it is? Maybe it's picture color, the saturation. You could take the saturation down to zero, um, and that's going to make it black and white. So that adds contrast too. Like for example, let's just close out of that and see, you know, here's, here's our character there where it's black and white. Um, and that adds some contrast. Now, kind of the cool thing you can do here is, um, if you wanted to have your whole template have all of the same look and feel, go back into the slide master, and let's say that what we decided we wanted to do is that saturated contrast black and white look. Um, you know, we can go back to this format picture. Um, well, we're gonna have to reset all of these images, but uh, essentially, uh, you could artistic effects. You'd reset it. You go to picture corrections. Um, sorry, picture color saturation zero. Let's just leave this window open as we're going through this, and we can click through here, um, and take the saturation to zero. That one still has a blur on it. I'd need to remove that, um, but you kind of get the point of what I'm trying to do here. Um, I flow all these through. Uh, let's just that color is annoying me. Let's reset that. Uh, it has the line art too, so we have to reset that. Now I'd go back to it and say uh, picture corrections picture color, zero. Um, so I'd flow through all of those, and then when I go back into the, my presentation, you'll see that black and white effect is kind of flowing through the entire thing.